Hello friends, this question is asked in December 2016 BWE paper and the question is using mass analysis find the current through 2 ohm resistance. Okay, so this is a given circuit. This is a given circuit over here. Okay, and we need to find the current uh, through this 2 ohm resistance that is this 2 ohm resistance. Okay and we need to find the current so what is mass analysis it is a technique by which we can find a current in each loop okay so this this is one first loop okay this is a second loop and this is my third loop and we need to find the current in this loop so the first thing we will uh, assume the direction of current that is let the i1 flowing in this direction so this is the direction of my i1 current and uh, this is the direction of my i2 current and uh, for change i assume the direction of i3 current in this way so this is the direction of my i3 current so we need to find uh, this three value that is i1 i2 and i3 to find the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance so let's uh, let's write the equation for this uh, three loop equation of this three loop so the the first equation of loop i1 that is this i1 and this i2 and this is over here i3 so let's write the equation for first loop that is this okay so i will start my equation from voltage so always remember to write the loop equation always start uh, your equation from voltage so it will be easier and better so uh, my voltage is 20 volt so i will write 20 equals to this uh, 10 ohms multiply by i1 so 10 into i1 this 12 ohm multiply by i1 uh, minus i2 so this plus 12 ohm multiply by i1 minus i2 so why i1 minus i2 because you can see the this minus sign is because the direction of this two current that is i1 and i2 you can see the uh, i1 is flowing in this direction while the i2 is flowing in up direction that's why the this equation contains a minus sign here contains a minus sign okay by solving this uh, equation simplifying this equation you will get 22 20 sorry 22 i1 22 i1 minus 12 i2 plus 0 i3 that is no value of i3 equals to 20 volt so this is my first equation similarly i will write my second equation uh, for my second loop so you can uh, see over here this is my second loop okay this is my second loop and i will I will write the loop equation for this current that is I2 okay as you can see uh, this loop my second loop do not contain any voltage source so the voltage is 0 I will consider it 0 so I will start from 0 so 0 equals to uh, coming to oh, resistance 12 ohm so 12 ohm 12 ohm from 12 ohm two current is flowing i2 and i1 and their direction is uh, opposite so i will write i2 minus i1 uh, similarly uh, from 10 ohm resistance only i2 is flowing so i will write 10 into i2 uh, in similar way from 2 ohm resistance over here two current is flowing i2 and i3 and their direction is same okay so you can see over here the direction of uh, i2 is this and the direction of i3 is always also this so uh, the if 
the direction of both the current is same then that current get added so i will write plus 2 i2 plus i3 okay and then solving this equation what i will get is this the second equation is uh, minus minus 12 i1 plus 24 i2 plus 2 i3 and it is equals to 0 so this is my second equation for my second loop similarly I will write the equation of my third loop that is this loop okay so starting from the voltage that is 30 so 30 equals to this 6 ohm uh, only I3 is flowing from this 6 ohm so 6 I3 uh, from 4 ohm resistance only I3 is flowing therefore 4 plus i3 and from this 2 ohm resistance i3 and i2 is flowing and their direction is again same so i will add i1 and sorry i2 and i3 so from this 2 ohm resistance i1 sorry i3 plus i2 that is my third equation and after simplifying this equation i will get 0 i1 so there is no i1 current plus 2i2 plus 12i3 and that is equals to 30 so this is my third equation okay so now I have a three equation okay you can see over here uh, this is my first equation this is my first equation and this is my second equation over here and this is my third equation now I have to solve this three equation by using calculator you can find the value of variable that is i1 i2 and i3 so after doing uh, uh, calculation you will uh, we will get the answer that is the value of i1 comes out to be minus 1 ampere the value of i2 is uh, minus 3.5 ampere and the value of i3 comes out to be 36 ampere okay now i find my value that is i1 i2 i3 you can see here we start from here we find the value of i1 i2 and i3 now i just need to find the uh, uh, current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance so to find the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance let's see this uh, diagram again uh, you can see there uh, from 2 ohm resistance over here two currents are flowing that is i2 and i3 and their direction is same okay so they are flowing in same direction that is downward direction okay they both are flowing in a downward direction so both the current will get added so my total current that is i from 2 from 2 ohm resistance comes out to be i2 plus plus i3 and what is the value of i2 i2 is minus 3.5 and the value of i3 is 36 and this comes out to be 32.5 so the current through I2 oh sorry the current through 2 ohm resistance is 32.5 amperes thank you